Let's go back to the basic. Hello. We are Jennifer and Reina, your virtual infection control. Tell me and I forget. Teach me and I may remember. Involve me and I learn. We will discuss about prevention and control of infection practices. So let's start with standard precaution. Moments of hand hygiene. Before touching a patient, before clean slash aseptic procedure, after body fluid exposure risk, after touching a patient, after touching patient surroundings. Hand washing takes 40 to 60 seconds, and hand rub takes 20 to 30 seconds. When coughing or sneezing, cover your mouth to avoid spread of bacteria and viruses. If you don't have tissue, cough or sneeze into your elbow, not your hands. Isolation precautions. Labels and signs are placed at the door of hospital rooms to remind visitors and healthcare workers. Blue for airborne, green for contact, and pink for droplet precaution. PPE sequence. For donning, use this sequence, gown, mask, googles, then gloves. For doffing, remove gloves first, then googles slash face shield, then gown, and lastly, mask. Aseptic technique is a practice of carrying out a procedure in such a way that you minimize the risk of introducing contamination into a vulnerable area or contaminating an invasive device. Only sterile to sterile contact is allowed. Be familiarized with your waste management and environmental sanitation. Black for general waste. Yellow for contaminated and infectious waste. And purple for cytotoxic waste. For laundry and linen management, use the white hamper for linens that use for non-infectious patients. And the red colored hamper bags for linens used in infectious patients. Sharp safety. Dispose all sharps properly in puncture-proof sharp bins. Dispose use bins of three quarters full. One needle, one syringe, only one time. Vaccination. Vaccines reduce risk of getting a disease by working with your body's natural defenses to build protection. Get vaccinated. Disinfection and sterilization. Spalding classification. Non-critical. Medical devices in contact with intact skin. Semi-critical. Devices in contact with mucous membranes or non-intact skin. Critical. Medical devices that need sterilization. Thank you. For questions and suggestions, please contact us at pci.nurses at saudigerman.com.